And welcome back, guys. So we're going to go back to playing some more Dying Light 2. Woo! Last night was fun. All I saw was lightning. It almost looked like, you know, some kind of war was going on outside the window. You know, all I saw is flashing of lightning or, you know, some kind of flash of light. It was just, just woo! It was fun last night. Power went out. It's like, okay, I guess I'm going to bed then. <laughs> Anyways, hope everyone's doing well. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure to support one. Let's get into playing some more Dying Light 2. I'm gonna leave the mic on this time just to see what happens. Some of you guys are liking my reaction, some of you are not, you know. Walk around and find out. So we really need to resupply Molotovs and healing stuff, apparently. So, our options are... Uh -huh. I'd really n like not to do this one yet, because this is a doozy by itself, the main questing. It's a doozy. That wind turbine taking it down was a doozy. I remember I had to do like eight or nine videos just to try to get it done. So what I'm doing is mostly side questing here. By side questing, it'll allow me to build up the skills a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any more inhibitors. I'm probably gonna go over real quick to um I'll go here real quick, and then I want to go over to here and here to see if there's any more inhibitors. I don't think there is. There's two here, but I don't think we're high enough level to do this yet. Because it's in the red, and red's usually bad. So, anyways, let's get into it. Mm. We'll never finish with you coming back every four minutes. Come on, oh, You've been around a while. That, You're practically one of us, please. <laughs> 57 damage. Cheat pad, my funding's a little lower now. I'm gonna get it anyways, I can always farm. Ooh, okay, we're gonna have to farm after this. Down to 200 bucks, man. It's not good. Alright, let's, let's soup this up. Five damage, anything in there, okay. I'm gonna do an inhibitor. Alright. So 39, 41. So we'll move. Ooh, that's 58. Okay. Put this here. Here to be 41. We'll get rid of this and replace it with. Okay, so this is 29. Put that there, and then we'll replace this with 3. So basically, if I really need something that's stronger than what I have already, I can just switch it over. It makes more sense, right? You get the less damaging one there, then you get the next one that's more damaging. 41, 49, 66, 66. So, you know. And if that weapon breaks, I can replace it with something else that's a little more personal. Yeah, Slot. Okay. Anything we can craft while we're right here. Oops, that's not what. Craft five of these. That's good to know. I need scrap this and this. Yeah. Ties up. Okay, same time. Sit there. What were you even thinking? I've never it's a nice change a from Sally. playing Ark non-stop. Don't get me wrong, Ark's fun. But when you're playing it non-stop, or playing VR chat non-stop, it gets boring really quickly, and it's also a great way to get burnt out really quickly on a 
game or platform, so you, know, you do gotta take a break once in a while. Keep doing the same shit over and over again. It, it, you just burn yourself out. It's not worth it. You want to go back and play VR chat or Ark, right? Then you gotta take a break from that eventually. This way. Woo! Oh, oh, this might be bad. Oh, I didn't think I was gonna make that. Oh, I got daddy. Someone over there? Munching. Counterpoint over here somewhere. It's great right here. <laughs> la 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 la. Oh. I want the blue one. Ain't gonna end well for you, shithead. <laughs> Keep trying. You both be a right. Goodbye. Play. Come on. Couldn't find anything. They're gonna come play. All right. Embarrassing. Dodger. Yeah, he won't be hassling you about your flower anymore. Mate, how'd you do it? I won a bet for him. A strange one. But now we're in your debt. We'll never be able to repay you. Then pay it forward. Start by apologizing to Anna. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, God, what have I done? I'll go right away. Maybe it's not too late to repair things. I've been such a prat. This is all my fault. Just try to keep your nose clean from now on. For your mother's sake, if not your own. Alrighty. So, now, we're gonna go from all the way over here. I'm gonna go over here. I wanna see... What these question marks are over here. I'm pretty sure they're like storage you can go into at night. I'm probably gonna go over here and what or right here. We'll go check this one out. Then we'll go here. By the way, this might not go to plan. We might end up going this way just to check the shop up there. Pretty sure that you can unlock the bow by doing certain side quests. But every single time you play through the game, it changes where things spawn. And well, I can tell certain new requests pop up that you haven't done before, so it's constantly generating something new, which is kind of nice. I was hoping that that would happen Cyberpunk 2077, that's why I played through it again. So I am seeing little things here and there pop up. There are news as far as I can remember, and I have never done, so I'm just like, alrighty. Uh, okay, so the plan is here, we're going to go here. Go see what this is. I'm pretty sure it's a shop location. Go over here. Probably a shop location or a quest. Uh, travel over here. Get this location. Looks like this is a nighttime quest. Oh no. I really wonder what that is. Pred. The Pred winner. Hmm. Uh, 
Um, looks like there's a home location over here that we don't have. Looks like we got the bed, but it's nicely lit up. I'm pretty sure we need a grappling hook for this one. No, nope, we need 300 stamina. I could try doing that. It's probably not going to work out very well if I do do it with this low amount of stamina. House location up there. House location here. And there's a house location here we need to light up. And then after that, we should probably do some farming. And we should probably go ahead and do some of these store locations and go in there and loot them and get stuff. So, anyways. Mm, the ball's in your court. Find missing supply. I'm just gonna leave it on that quest. Alright. That was close. Yeah, don't tell me about it. Anything good in here from McKay? No? Oh no, 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 I know what that is. That's bad. It's a GRE facility. Why is that bad? Because it's one of those places that are filled with infected at night usually. Nope, it's gonna be filled with renegades, it looks like, maybe. Da, da, da. Dark Dome Springs, out the infected during the day. Uh, they congregate in gloomy spots in the city. So that is gonna be a nest. <laughs> Alright. Well, we now know. Okay, so it wants me to go that way. Well, that's good that we're going that way in a sort of way. Hoping I could uh, just use binoculars here, but I guess not. Me. Rip it. The only thing that doesn't make a lot of sense is why would you camp up on a roof knowing that at some point these buildings would fall apart? Like, they you know, if it's been like this for a hundred years. The buildings, like the foundations, would decay eventually. All this overgrowth would cause the roofs to cave in. Why would you build on the roofs? It doesn't make a lot of sense, like, logically. Good storyline, yes, but when you run across people that actually know about, like, engineering and building and stuff like that, there's no way because of this a building's foundation that's made out of bricks is going to last a hundred years, not unless you have someone to maintain it. Just facts. Great storyline. It's just uh, engineering perspective of things doesn't quite meet eye to eye. <laughs> We're stuck to break. Oh. Is this horse crap every single time I try to farm stuff these things are supposed to come out at night not during the day I think it's a bug in the game the more you update a game the more bugs and glitches you put in usually Most of the time, it doesn't cause problems, but if you do a half-assed job for your updating or coding, unless that was intentional, things like that happens, which I don't think that was intentional.
trying to understand why it's saying there's something right there, but I can't see it from here. I gotta go over here. What is this magic? Well, we now know why I always skip this spot. Truth be told, there were you can't look at it because back then. I'm guessing I gotta go inside. I was really hoping not to. I was hoping that there might be like a way downstairs that would allow me to see what's in here, but it's not looking that way at the moment. Let's go this way. Come here. Yes. leading downwards at the moment. Do you see a crate over here I can get into? I was thinking maybe there's like a open in the floor that leads down or something. That's a no. Already been in here. Over here. Still nothing. Alrighty, let's check the other side. Civilization, hey, but a stop whim staring of circumstance. at me. Always do. Hey, stop staring at me. I don't see anything. Alrighty, it's either going to be a glitch location or something that opens up later on. Moving on. So now we're going to go over here and check out what that is. And then the plan is to kind of do a giant circle, like from here to there to there. And then maybe if I get gutsy enough to do this. Let's do it, why not? Just walking through the street of zombies. Other than the uh, stinky zombies all over the place, it's quite peaceful. 
Right lady, you get next to a zombie, all you hear is flies sight. Alrighty then. Ew, a guy puked back there, it's nasty. Didn't need to hear that. container by I'm like wow it's one this way all right let's go check this out <laughs> Try to keep these videos down to like 30, 40 minutes, but it really depends on the quest. It really depends where I can get to a safe spot. Alright, that's alright. Stuff in there. Safe stuff. Oh, yes. Main reason why we came. Unfortunately, I think we need to get one more in order to upgrade this again. <coughs> Is it worth going in there? Right, we'll find out what this is about. What is this, a fighting arena? See any zombies in here, which is worrisome. It's usually like the boss fight or something. Actually, that's exactly what it is. It's just we haven't discovered it yet. Alrighty. We came, we saw her. Now we're going. Alrighty. Um. We'll go this way. We we're originally gonna go down and around, but we'll just do it in reverse. <laughs> Forsaken shop was found. in here. Let's go over here. Let's take this guy out. Yes, sir. I get my own head. Snap, snap. Let's go this way. You saw nothing. Snap, snap. Don't mind me. He's never here.
Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Yeah. Knock, knock. Housekeeping. Downstairs, and I want to go get those goods downstairs that we can loot. They have the setups better where I can do it from the outside. I'm going to do it from the inside. So. <laughs> Crunch, crunch. You saw nothing. It reminds me of the crunching noises from this. It reminds me of like biting into a carrot. Anything? No, there's nothing right there. All right, floor one and two clear. Okay, we got a zombie there. Dead person there. There's something bad around this corner. Oh, we got landmines. All right. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Always fun. There's no other way up. <laughs> I 
Okay. So we can't go up that way. So we're gonna have to climb. take a lot of resources to take if you're not well equipped so if you're starting at level one or two is not for the faint of heart that one looks like it's on top of a hospital yes it is meaning not easy to get to grab that side quest we'll work our way back this way And of course, there's no easy way to help here. Reminds me from last time I played through. I go slow poke, it's a uh, parkour challenge. Jogging my memory, I'm just like, nope. I ain't doing a quest for you. That's an ass. For the NPC, it's an ass. Alrighty. So I still need to go into the be over here. Get over there. Oh, you can't see me. You can't get to me. to get up there. <laughs> it's been that long. Yeah. So up here. If I remember correctly, this was one of the more annoying ones. It's just as bad as oak. but it's Thank you. 
But back then, I didn't know you could just hold spacebar and automatically grab the ledge, so... It's probably one of the reasons I really don't like this wind turbine thing for parkouring. I was hoping a settlement would build there. That's all right. Uh, let's see here. So if I come back this way. Grab this. Come back here. Grab that too. I think we're gonna hit a couple of these doors for crafting parts. So. Took a lot of damage. Ow. So yeah, uh, my experience with your chat, uh, they keep, you know that thing about phantom pain and phantom sense? It uh, kind of came with me to other platforms. It's kind of like, alrighty, uh, this is an interesting experience. I wasn't expecting it to follow me to a different platform. <laughs> People like, what the fuck is Phantom Sense, Mike? Uh, I don't know how I can tell, even, I'm not even sure where to begin how to describe it. Saving up the feathers because I know I'm going to be using those to make arrows. So it's like, all right, I might as well start collecting now. Anything I miss? Nothing. All right. Cool. I finished bridge. Everyone, this is Sara. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sara. Night runner, hang out. All right. Here, well, hmm. Choices. Hmm. I want to do these convoys just to see if I can get anything good out of them. But the thing is, we're at half day there, so I could go ahead and wait until night time, or sleep until night time, and go do this. Get some parts over here. Or. I could try doing this after doing that and then run back here. And I. Let's do this. Let's 
do this. I'm gonna save because I think that's gonna be a good decision here. Let me go look at the time clock here. Ah, 40 minutes. Okay, so we'll sleep here, we'll end the video, and then when you see me next, we'll be going over to that shop. And, you know, going over there and farming. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you support button. I'll see you guys again soon.